everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and in today's YouTube, I'm going to show you how to make a really awesome salad. You're going to need some leafy greens. You'll need carrots, some cabbage, tomato, some really ripe mango, onion, the juice from a lemon, pumpkin seeds, extra virgin olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. In a large mixing bowl, start with your greens. I use leaf lettuce because it's what I had on hand, but other great options that I've tried are kale or box salad. Add some chopped cabbage. I suggest that you start with your greens and that it'll make up at least half of the completed salad. I don't know about you, but if I start with a tastier topping, I usually get carried away and suddenly my salad is just a bowl full of mango. I spiralize my carrots to make these beautiful curls. You can also shred them if you don't have a spiralizer. Toss in some tomato. Add your mango. This is my favorite part of the salad. The lemon juice that we put on top of it later really brings out the sweetness of the mango and makes your salad really, really tasty. Some of the mango got stuck in the bowl, but we can't lose a single chunk. Add your onion. I use shallot, which is a little bit spicier and a little bit more powerful than, I guess, regular people like. I would suggest maybe a red onion. It has a milder flavor. Finally, add your pumpkin seeds. As you can see, I wasn't very particular about the amounts of my ingredients. I think that out of all the things you can make in a kitchen, salads are the most forgiving in this respect. The only rule I have for myself is that I need it to be mostly composed of raw greens before I can really call it a salad. For the dressing, add a squeeze of lemon. I usually do about half the lemon, but that's because I really, really like sour foods. Add some olive oil. And finally, put some balsamic vinegar. I mix this with my hands because some of the hippier hippies say it makes you more connected to your food. It's a really good idea to do this if you use kale. Massaging the lemon juice into the kale will soften the leaves and make it easier to consume. And that's all there is to it. If you want to see more recipes, please leave a comment below. Until next time!